Oh, that was close. You almost dipped one of your yabos in the marinara. Let me help you with those. Why, thank you. That's so sweet. You're the first person who looks anything like my husband who's offered to help in any way. Oh, you must be Peter's wife, Lois. I'm Larry. It's nice to meet you, Larry. A weird hands full pinky shake? I gotta tell you, it's so strange. You look so much like Peter when I first met him. Well, I'm guessing you look exactly the same, too. You're in such great shape. Well, I do have tiny blue weights in my garage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Larry. Hi, Lois. Is Peter here? Larry, it's only two in the afternoon. Peter's still sleeping off last night's party. Then why... Why are you still in your pajamas and bathrobe? Oh, that's because I'm depressed. Is that why that sad Shell Silverstein blob is following you around? Who would ever f me? Anyway, we didn't really get a chance to finish our conversation yesterday, and I thought maybe we could grab some lunch together. Huh, that would give me a reason to get dressed today. Oh, would you uh, like to join us? That didn't sound like a real invitation. See, this is why no one ever wants to f you. Thank you again for lunch, Larry. Sorry I drew so many Nazi symbols on the placemat. I was just nervous. That's okay. I just wish we hadn't gone to a kosher restaurant. Ah, but look at me. I got ice cream all over my fingers. Do you have a napkin? No, but let me help you clean it off. Larry, are you turned on or starving? Can't it be both? Larry, that was unexpected. Shh. We'll discuss this later. I have to get back to my high school. Oh. Where I work. Oh. As a janitor. Oh. To pay for medical school. Oh. That I'm building. Oh. Out of popsicle sticks. Oh. That big one doesn't blink a lot, does he? Hey, Lois, where's your purse? Me and some of my kids are going to the movies. By the way, Dwarf Peter died. I didn't know what he ate, so I gave him nothing. His name was Tyler. He had a name. Everything you say, you say with pride. I like that about you. Anyway, where's Larry? Maybe he wants to go to the movie. Larry? Why would I know where Larry is at? Who is Larry? Well, never mind. All right, everybody bring your phone so we can text each other during the movie. Wow. You want to tell me what that was? <sighs> Brian, Larry and I sort of crossed a line yesterday. I, I don't know, he's just so sweet and fun-loving, and for God's sake, he looks just like Peter did when he was his age. Yeah, but? Well, he kissed me, and I, I kind of let him. I told him it could never happen again, and that... <clears throat> what are you doing? Oh, I, th I thought that was kind of like I'm open for business. No, I'm confiding in a friend. Oh, you're the safe friend. Look, I feel awful about it, but I told Larry that was it, and we couldn't be anything more than friends. So you're still going to see him? Yes, of course. He's a nice young man, and he's practically family. Lois! No! Zoloft Blob, don't! <laughs> Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just hurt my neck this morning, vigorously nodding approval to Judge Judy. Okay, all right. The doctor is in. Come on, back it up over here. Somebody's got a neck massage coming. All right, there. Okay, but let's keep this friendly. You can choke me for just a second. You know, maybe I should just go ahead and do your whole back. Yeah, your bra strap is getting in the way here. I'll just bite it off with my teeth. Lois, well, is, is a 